What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to try to resist the urge to touch my hair constantly. It's sort of not behaving. It's kind of like it looked great and then I turned the camera on and now she just looks insane. I shouldn't be looking at myself in the viewfinder. I know that, but I do it anyway. I don't care. Anyway, guys, today we're going to be trying a gadget that just might make me a real YouTuber. This is, what is this called? This is the Huadi Huadi Beauty Glittering Eyeshadow to Seal 2-in-1 Eyeshadow Powder. This has a lot of nuanced things that confuse me, okay? I ordered it on Amazon because I saw it kind of like going a little bit viral on some people's channels, but I thought I was gonna be able to figure out how to do it on my own. I don't like to watch other YouTubers reviews on things before I review them because I would kind of just like to crash through something on my own. I am not a professional makeup artist. I kind of want to show people what it looks like when someone who isn't a professional tries something for the first time. But guys, these directions, I was already in over my head. Listen to this. Step one, full for eyeshadow glitter on eyeshadow seal with plastic eyeshadow brush. Clearly. Step two, stain part of flicker powder in the eye corner. The eyeshadow seal with flicker powder is printed directly in the eyeshadow. That is, the seal completes the double color flash eyeshadow effect. It sounds like a predictive text message. Like it's just, it makes no sense at all. So I didn't know when I ordered this, whether this was a stencil or a stamp. And I kind of think we could do both, but I think after, because of this, because the directions are so unclear, I did just go and peek at Manny MUA's video just to be like, girl, I'm not gonna make the whole video and use it wrong, you know what I mean? So I have watched him do it, he got pretty excited about it, and so we're gonna try. So what this little gizmo does, apparently, is it makes an instant cut crease. A cut crease, for the uninitiated, like myself until very recently, is like an invention that beauty YouTubers made where you have to draw a really, really solid line in between two colors and it makes some kind of like shadow effect on your eye. It's definitely not something that I would go for on a regular basis, but I love a good gadget. The other nuanced thing that makes no sense to me here is this looks like it was just kind of made out of spare parts because that's definitely an atomizer for perfume. You know what I mean? But there is no, that's not part of the mechanism here. So just real, real ingenuity going on right here. Uh, this is, this is definitely a time to be alive. So it doesn't have a perfectly symmetrical situation. Um, you can see that this is like eyelid shaped this way. If this way wouldn't work as well. It's kind of a little too smiley. So what you are supposed to do apparently is put kind of, your darker shades on your eyes and then you're supposed to take this little powder glitter that it came with this is Huadi, I think it's trying to be Huda uh, Beauty eyeshadow powder and it is in this gorgeous brown color but I kind of am also like I don't know I'm gonna google some pictures of what cut creases look like because I, th I don't know I, th I thought a cut crease was like more contrasty than that let me see what's a cut crease okay yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, so a cut crease is usually kind of darker and then the eyelid is lighter. So while this is very pretty and we will try it, I kind of want to try it with lighter shadow first because, well, we can keep putting shadow on if we start with light shadow. If we start with dark shadow, there's really no way out. I'm going to go ahead with my Anastasia palette and just kind of doll up from here to the brow bone with just a nice gradient that is going to be contrasty against something light. Okay, so I want to go ahead and put the gradient on this and we're going to do this inner corner. So I'm going to do the, ah, okay, a glitter, really only a glitter will work on this, I see, because it really wasn't picking up the other shadow. So I'm kind of doing that, you know, halfway in, even though this is going to cover my entire eyeball, but um, do that. And then I'm going to take glistening, which is another kind of like shimmer shade and do the other side right here because I just feel like that, I don't know, I'll, I'll test it out in a second, but I think that, that that shade that they gave me is just too dark for my skin. Like it won't be an effective cut crease because it won't be enough contrast. So I'm just kind of, I almost feel like, you know, Christine from Simply Nail Logical right now because, you know, I'm making like a little, little stamp. All right, so that's what it looks like. And then we're gonna take it and we're gonna stamp it on my eyeball right now. Uh, feels really weird. Um, okay. So, 
the thing is way too big for my eye. <laughs> um, but let's see here. It made a line. Um, I'm not sure it's what I was like going for. Let's uh, let's see if we can do it again. And I will just put pigment kind of on the top part. So now I'm going in with a much lighter shade and the kind of shimmery rose pink sort of gradiented into it. But again, I just don't know if this is going to even do anything. Y'all, that's a freaking disaster. Look at that. I don't, this is, whose eye, my eyes aren't this big. And like, now I just have crap all over me. Let's see if we can do a real cut crease just with, you know, actual eyeshadows because this is such a bust. Like, Mandy was like, this works. And I was like, doesn't really look that good. I was just kind of hoping that I was gonna be able to achieve a really nice hard line. And it didn't even do that. And I have primer. I put primer on for you guys. Okay, let's go ahead and blend this. We're gonna put primer back on down there and I'm gonna do my own damn cut crease because I refuse to, to be defeated by this. It's gonna be total Nikki tutorials here, except that my brushes aren't clean. <laughs> oh well. This extraordinary creature is half blind, half deaf, and this is just about as fast as it can move. That's what's gonna happen to you if you live on nothing but leaves. It's a slice. I'm learning that you can put concealer, at least this concealer, on top of anything. <laughs> this is so much freaking harder than it looks, you guys. <laughs> ah. All right, I'm gonna go with my original idea of tempera on top of this. And I need something really precise. My brush game's kind of weak. I'm going to kind of re recut up above it, I guess. Actually, the first thing I want to do is go ahead and get a nice blend on there with the rose pink and the tempera. And then, <laughs> then we can talk about it. So does it go in the middle? I feel like it goes here. Am I like in focus? Let's make sure I'm in focus. Awesome. Now you can see all of my mistakes in real time. That's actually kind of pretty. Makes me look a little bit cross-eyed, but my eyes are desperately close together. Sorry. Don't mean to negative self-talk. It's just true. All right, I'm gonna go with the little one that they gave me, and I'm going to go back in with Mulberry and kind of try and recut this on the other side. Am I doing it? <laughs> I bet a drag queen could really teach me a much easier way of doing this. That's a promise. And then I'm going to take a little bit of glistening and just do inner corner stuff here. Oh, that's pretty. <laughs> oh, I did it. <sighs> um, uh, yeah, I'm gonna put some eyeliner and some either mascara or lashes or both depending on exactly how big this dumpster fire is when I get in here. Uh, I will meet you guys back in just a second. So what did we learn today? I think we learned some very valuable lessons. Is this a cut crease? I don't know. Do I want a cut crease? I don't think so. Another thing that I learned today is, well, liner and lashes can only go so far uh, in solving something that looks absolutely demented. <laughs> uh, I, I don't think that this little guy works on people with small eyes, and even if it did, I don't think that this is the look that I would be going for. So yeah, I'm gonna call this, you know, one for the one for the garbage can. 
and um, you know, another Amazon adventure. But if you guys know of any other kind of gadgets on Amazon that are kind of, you know, bopping around that you are interested in, this is a pretty cheap thrill. This is definitely not like, I didn't break the bank on this one. I'm not gonna like mail it back. But yeah, if there's anything like that out there on the internet that you guys are interested in me trying, I'll do my best to bumble through it. Just let me know. But I'm gonna go wipe this off because I think it looks ugly and I still have other videos to film today. So uh, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this absolute nonsense review of this goofy little gizmo, give this video a thumbs up. If you guys want to keep hanging out with me on this channel, hit the button down below and subscribe. I would love it if you did. Hit the bell so that you get told when I upload. I've just been kind of randomly uploading lately. I do upload five days a week, but I was at 11 a.m. for a long time and then lately I'm just like, I don't want to wait. And I just like upload at like eight o'clock in the morning. So just, you know, turn on the bell so that you're, you can be like, you know, one of the first people or whatever. So anyway, guys, um, catching back up here, guys, I, I just rubbed my eyes and it blended out really pretty. <laughs> I was like, get this off of me. And then I blended it and I was like, oh, actually that looks okay. And then I was like, oh wait, I never actually used the little dumb powder that came with it. And it's actually really pretty. It still, I was totally right. It would not have worked as a cut crease because it's way, way, way too dark for my skin. But uh, like to be a contrast shade on my skin. Um, but it is a really pretty kind of copper color. <laughs> I kind of think that, you know, while the gizmo was a bust, like I'm all in on this little pigment they sent me. That's worth all of what, like, you know, however much 10 bucks it was anyway. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I just didn't want you guys in the comments to be like, you didn't even use the powder tacky. Um, I did. I put it on my eyes and I think it's pretty. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> let me know what you thought. <laughs> Leave a comment below and let me know like what I did wrong and wh whether a cut crease is even like a desirable, like send me a link if you think that a cut crease is even like a pretty thing on someone that would even go with, go with my aesthetic. Anyway, yeah guys, thank you so much for watching. I love you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.